Hi there, thank you for your interest in Sunisto. My name is Stefan, Content Manager at Sunisto, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through the ins and outs of what Sunisto is, how it works, and how you can get the most out of it. So, let's get right to it. Sunisto is an app for Windows and Mac OS that aims to gather as many of your music software tools as possible in one place, so you can spend less time mucking about with installations and updates, and more time making music. As you can probably imagine, this is no easy feat, and we're only just getting started, so expect both contents and features of Sunisto to grow steadily in the future. In fact, if you have any ideas on how to improve Sunisto, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We can't do this without you. In order to use Sunisto, you'll need a personal account. This is completely free and always will be. No strings attached. Go to sunisto.com and click the orange Join Us button at the top right. This will take you to the sign up page where you can choose to sign up using a Facebook account or type in your credentials directly. You can also opt in to receive our newsletter here and while this is of course optional, we do need you to accept the terms of use, which you can find by clicking here. If you agree to these, click the sign up now button. A verification email will be sent as Sunisto needs to verify that you're you for security reasons. Go to your email client and locate the email we've just sent you. Please check your spam folder if you don't see the email within a few minutes. In it, you'll find an orange verify button. Click this in order to complete the sign up process. A new browser window should open presenting you with a link to this very video. I know, totally meta, right? Anyway, you're now ready to start browsing the shop and adding products to your personal library. Click the big Visit the Shop button at the bottom of the welcome screen to get started. To get you started, we're just going to add a free plugin to your library. Click the Shop button at the top. In the left pane, move the rightmost price range slider tab all the way to the left, so that only free products are showing in the list on the right. Click and add to cart free button on any product. The button name changes to go to cart. Click it again to get to your cart. From here, you can delete any products you may not want after all, go back to the shop or go to checkout, which is what we'll do now. You can enter your billing details here, but this isn't necessary for freeware offerings. Simply scroll down to the Add to Vault button and click it. From the Order Summary page, click the My Library button on the left. You'll be taken to your personal library page, which is the real strength of Sunisto. In the list to the left, you'll find all the plugins you added. You can view the list by product or by brand name. On the right, you'll see details about the highlighted plugin. You've probably also noticed the big commanding letters asking you to please run the Sunisto app to install your plugins. In fact, right here is where the browser version of Sunisto reaches its limits. Sunisto needs your permission to install stuff on your computer. This isn't possible from a browser. Additionally, it needs to keep track of what's installed so it can let you know when updates are available. So the next step is to install the Sunisto app by navigating to the top right and clicking Install Sunisto. Sunisto already knows whether you're using macOS or Windows, so all you need to do is click the Install button. In case you need to download the installer for another operating system, click the icon next to Also Available For. Once the download completes, navigate to the file location. On macOS, it's the familiar drag the icon to the apps folder approach. On Windows, double-clicking the exe file will install and launch Sunisto automatically. To avoid confusion, from now on you should only use the Sunisto app and visit Sunisto online only if you need to install the app on a new system. The app will automatically update itself whenever needed. You can of course add new products to your library from the browser version of Sunisto, but you can't install them from there. If the Sunisto app isn't already running, please go ahead and launch it. In the top right corner of the interface, you'll find the Login button. Click here and enter your email and password, the same you used when signing up, and click Login. 
Click your username at the top right of the interface. From the drop-down, select DAW settings. Here you can tell Sinisto which DAWs you use, or if you click the Advanced tab, manually decide which plugin formats you want Sinisto to install. Below you'll find the plugin path for VST2 plugins. In many cases the default location may work, but it is essential that it's set correctly as this folder can reside pretty much anywhere on your system. Sinisto needs to know where you like your VST2 plugins to hang out. Click the Change Path button to navigate to your VST2 folder. For VST3, audio units and AAX formats, this step isn't necessary as these plugin formats use fixed locations. If you plan to get any of our native instrument contact libraries, the same thing applies. Point to your NI contact library folder by clicking the Change Path button and navigating to your folder of choice. Lastly, click the Save button to have Sinister remember your settings. If for any reason you need to change any of these paths at a later stage, this is no problem. Sinister will simply move all your products to the new locations. Depending on the number of installed products, this can be a very time-consuming process though, especially for contact libraries, so be absolutely sure before you do so. Ok, now you're done setting up Sinisto and can start tapping into its magic powers. Click the My Library button at the top. As you can see, things look a lot more interesting here. Depending on your DAW settings, Sinisto will display the available plugin formats for your operating system. In case you add a plugin that isn't supported according to your DAW settings, it will be stated in the product description on your My Library page. Clicking the Install All button will install all products in your library. This is why we call it the one button to rule them all. But of course, any and all products and plugin formats can be installed and uninstalled individually or in groups. To install a selection of products, tick them off in the selection box to the left of each product in the list and click Install Selected. In the same manner, you can uninstall any format, individual product or selection of products by making selections and clicking Uninstall Selected. At the top of the list, you'll find a Select Deselect All for convenience. Products yet to be installed are marked with a red dot, installed products by a green dot and any available updates will show a yellow dot. You can simply click Update All to have Sinisto run all available updates in one go. You also have the option to remove any free plugin you might no longer want in your library by clicking the Remove from My Library button. The product list on the left side of the My Library page is divided into Sinisto installers and vendor installers. The latter need to be installed and maintained manually just as you used to from any other vendor. In a perfect world, all products in the Sinisto shop would use our universal installer, rendering all manual user input a thing of the past. This is true for almost all of our free offerings and for a number of paid products as well. It is of course our main goal for all products. But in the meantime, we also want to offer great products that use conventional installers. The downside to this is that Sonisto can't install and uninstall automatically and as it isn't aware of the installed version, can't keep track of updates. The upside is that you only need to go to one place for installers and updates rather than having to manually check each vendor's site. And rest assured that we're working on onboarding more and more vendors to make your life easier one plugin at a time. Even though you need to install and activate these products manually, we've made it as easy as possible to copy-paste your serial number directly from Sinisto to your door of choice. This is of course dependent on the individual vendor procedure. Please consult the accompanying information for each product. I hope this tour of Sinisto got you off to a good start. Should you still have questions or issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd also love to hear from you if you have suggestions and ideas on how we can improve Sinisto. That's all for now. See you next time.